What up, though, y'all? So, it's like 4.45 a.m. That's why it's so dark. And I'm walking because I'm going on my little morning walk. I usually do it when it's daylight outside, but, you know, I got this flight. Um, today is the day of the flight, so I'm trying to get my little exercise in or whatever before I go through the whole uh, airport bullshit. So, I'm about to head back to the crib now. Start waking everybody up, tell them to grab their shit. They still don't know we about to go to the airport. So, uh, they probably gonna be confused and shit, but that's the fun part. All right, y'all, so I'm at the airport right now. I ain't never, um, see, since I moved here, I ain't went on vacation, so this is my first time actually um, having a park when I come to this airport, so I ain't really know where I was supposed to be at. I thought I was on the international side, but it turns out I, I guess I'm on the right side. I got like 40 minutes to play with, but that ain't really a lot of time when you fucking with the airport, so uh, I'm, about to, I'm about to grab the fam out the car. And uh, hopefully we don't waste our time and energy walking that way. So I got my van. It's my daughter back there. I'm trying to make them keep up. So we found a shuttle that uh, is going to take us to the terminal. I don't know if this is the shuttle that's supposed to do it, so I don't know how we're going to get back. But that's a problem for when we land. So we made it to the terminal. Now we just got to go in here and check in. I had printed out the tickets, so I was trying to be responsible and shit. And then I left them in the car, so I still got to pay to print them. Vacation life. Finally made it on the plane after much turmoil dealing with the um, airlines and shit. Dealing with ghetto ass spirit, bro. I love to this shit again. What up, y'all? I just landed at LAX. And I'm walking through the airport, waiting for my Toro people to respond to me so I can figure out where I gotta go. So I just talked to my Toro driver. He should be right outside uh, on the lower level by the baggage claim. I don't have to go to baggage claim because I always do uh, carry on bags because I cannot fucking stand waiting for them bags to come out. Alright, so I finally found my Tesla. I got my kids in the back. Okay, hey, y'all. Now we done hit up the uh, Westfield Mall in Culver City. About to go through there and try to find just a few little things to buy. Um, I ain't really packed that much stuff when I came. But it's always good to see a new mall, so we finna walk up in there real quick. And if you look behind me. Yeah, that's a Trader Joe's right there. So I'm gonna stop by there and probably try to find me something to eat too because I'm still trying to be on my healthy kick as much as possible. Even though I'm definitely gonna cheat on that health kick on this vacation. Okay. I can't really see what did I miss. Uh, uh, Junior Watson, I've been on my feet. Junior Watson, I've been on my feet. Tell him this. Did he miss? Nah, no, only in LA they have a vending machine for lashes though. Hashtag beat game. Like 2 30 
like 30 minutes before my check-in, so we headed to our Airbnb. Now, everything takes so fucking long to get to in LA, so it's a 30 minute drive from the mall we was just at. I just been entirely too fucking long in the mall. Passing that good Roscoe's chicken and waffles. All right, so I done busted my first move to my first dispensary. They say uh, members only, and I don't know what the fuck that means, but we about to find out. I like the way that sounds. All right, y'all, so I finally made it to my Airbnb and checked in. I'm gonna show you what it looks like real quick. And you see they got a little German that motherfucker, so I'm about to get in there real hard. They said they're up until 59, so I'm gonna do my little late workouts in there. I'm gonna still go around and do my dogs though, because I'm in a nice area on the strip. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. So this is the um, weed I got from the dispensary and shit. I ain't gonna show it because I don't want YouTube to um, try to take my video down and shit, but this should be real professional out in Cali. I can't actually show it though because it's not actually out like that, but that's what they got me. Walking around Hollywood trying to find us something to eat. The good thing about where we stay at in Hollywood is right off the strip, so. As long as the food is good, it's gonna be something around here to eat. It's just a matter of if it's good or not. Out here on the strip. Literally on Hollywood. That's where we stand right off of Hollywood. It's a wild ass strip. You'll see some celebrities, you'll see some tattoo places, and you'll see a whole bunch of homeless people. There's a lot of homeless people in California, man. Still a pretty beautiful place though. That was that man that was fighting with that other man. You know what I'm talking about? And he pushed that nigga earlier. Yeah, what the fuck is a peanut butter shot? This nigga said they got six dollar peanut butter shot. That don't sound good. Come on. We just walked past these homeless people. I seen this nigga getting a fight earlier. It's crazy that they was listening to some motherfucking uh, Justin Bieber about it. You like what you like, I guess. Just found us a toy store out here on the strip. You know my kids drag me in this motherfucker, boy. Look at taco truck. Good taco truck action. That's racist, though. I just seen Mexicans and assume they were selling tacos. They might be selling hamburgers. See, look. They sell hot dogs. I misrepresent... <laughs> I misrepresented, I misrepresentate, what am I trying to say? I fucked it up. What do I do that talk though? So I just got back from the little taco truck, whatever, got my, I think my shit was called like hirachis or something. I was trying something new, because I had to try to stay within my diet and try to keep all healthy shit. And it is pretty much healthy except for the uh, tortilla. So, and they got some low street food right here. They, they stay with the food out here. Print these. Wanna run one out? Let me know, man. 
Is that 50 an hour? It's 50 an hour for the stick shift. Uh, 16 hours for the automatic if you do four hours or more. If you do a single hour, it's 79. What's your major running? License and insurance. License and insurance. If you don't have insurance, we'll get set you up with insurance. How much is the insurance? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Alright. Projects out here in shape. Denzel's. He tripping. All y'all tripping. Oh no, we tripping. So this is what I got. It's called some harachis or something. I don't know. It got a lot of chicken and avocados and shit. It looks like it might be healthy. I ain't fucking with that pepper though. It's the lime and shit. Yeah, I can fuck with this. So earlier, when I first got here, I had peeped at this job. I'm about to go see what that gym is like down there. I kind of peeped my head in there earlier, but I ain't really investigate like I be doing. So I'm going to ride this elevator down the stairs and I'm going to go see what's up with the gym. Maybe give me a little workout in. And then, I don't know. You know, I just ate this food. That food was good as hell, but I don't know about this for a little while. I just feel like. I should get my exercise in while I can, while I'm here. Hey. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the I'm gonna try to make it up here to this foot locker real quick. I finished my little workout and shit. This should be lit at night, bro. It's a fucking Wednesday. This shit be slapping. Oh, I know damn well I don't know where I'm going. There's so much going on out here. I know damn well I don't know where I'm going. And it's just Michael Myers in the middle of the street, bro. Hello. Hollywood crazy, bro. Where the fuck this go? I'm gonna get lost too, cause I'm getting on random um, elevators and shit. Definitely turning around after this. So I guess I ain't got no choice but to go back up. Wait, nope. I'm gonna whip around this bitch like this. You feel me? Cause why is it just a random forever 21? That's why I love Cali, man. Cause it's a random forever 21 out here. And then it just smelled like a lot of weed. See, I done stumbled into. I don't. Am I in a mall? What the fuck just happened? It's a Victoria's Secret in this bitch. A Sephora. I don't know where I'm at. Oh shit! I think I'm in a mall. Damn. Cali is one of my favorite places, bro, because it's just so fucking random, bro. I love the whole randomness 
of the city. Because in Michigan, where I'm at, it's just so much predictability and shit. Like, you know what's gonna happen like it's a movie and shit. You get to Cali. Not to say they ain't got their own calculated bullshit, but it's just different out here, bro. Like, that's all I can say about Cali, man. That's my goal, just to retire out here eventually, you know. But I don't want to be out here having to work. Cali don't look like it's fun if you ain't got no money. So I'm trying to stack my bread up, you know what I'm saying? Get me a nice house. I, want, I don't want to live out in Cali if I can have no nice house, man. I'll stay where I'm at. And that nigga right here just trying to kill us in the, uh, I think that's a Rolls Royce. Whatever it was, that nigga trying to drive out and track, traffic. Bad back and hit motherfuckers and shit. Good old LAPD right here though. To the rescue. Going on my morning walk this morning. I'm on the strip early now. It's like, I don't know, like 6.30 in the morning. I'm still up because of my um difference in time zone. So I'm wide the fuck awoke. I don't know none of these motherfuckers. Oh no, that's Fred Astaire. Okay, I know who that is. Oh, and Bob Hope. Y'all, so I'm just leaving McDonald's and shit. Hollywood is so crazy, man. So it's like, I told you, I was like a lot of poor people, a lot of homeless people here. So I walked into McDonald's, it's like four or five homeless people in there. And then the police show up and kick all the homeless people out like they was expecting these motherfuckers. That shit crazy, man. Fucking this. Yeah. Walk around Hollywood crazy. This shit is opening up out the here next to me. So this terrace that overlooks the pool, and I'm thinking about trying to find my way to the pool. It's crazy. I'm going to show y'all where it's at. So I'm sitting right here. This is my hand right here. I'm sitting right here. The pool is right here. So it's obviously on the floor under me, but I'm on the third floor. It kind of looked the way, the way it looked, it looked like it's on like the ground floor, but that can't be because if you look all the way up there, you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's definitely some stories below that. So I guess I got to go to the second floor and just kind of navigate and find it. I'm a, that's what I'm gonna do. When I finish this, I'm about to make it my business to find out how to get to this pool. I decided to uh, take the kids with me to see if I could find the pool. So they on this mission with me, but I feel like they gonna run off. Oh, it's nice down here. Hot. Oh, it's warm. Feel it. Oh, it is warm. They got a little beach sand over here. This little jacuzzi over here. Okay. Look, that's our place right there. Look. Our place. Oh, there we go. That's our place. I'm coming back from the pool now. That's dope, but I just realized, meanwhile, back at the crib, I got to get the grass cut on one of my Airbnbs, so I'm trying to find somebody to do that while I'm out here that'll accept some kind of uh, digital payment so I can pay them while I'm out here, so still working even on vacation. So I just ordered me a smoothie bowl uh, for breakfast. It's a late breakfast for me because I was trying to figure out what to eat. You know how y'all be out of town and you just be trying to figure out. I like being out of town because um, you get so many new options for food. A lot of times, that's what I be sick of the most is um, having the same options over and over again. So I ordered myself a smoothie bowl and I gave my kids the keys with the little five thing so I can activate this elevator. So. I gotta figure out how to get back upstairs. Oh, but then they right here. So that was lucky. Hold on, y'all wait for me because I need um I need to get back up. 
My, my food is right here. And I didn't know how it was gonna get up. Five, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Some juice crafters. All right, so about to see what this look like. This is hitting on. Some utensils, uh, they played me. All right, let's see what it tastes like. All right, so I'm about to try this shit. I tried the saucy bowls before too. I ain't like the saucy for real, but this is a blueberry base, so maybe it's better. That shit is kind of fire. That shit fire as fuck. Good. So if you're in the LA area, I would recommend you try Juice Crafters. Cause that shit's better than any fucking uh, smoothie ball I had anywhere else so far. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want to the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this shit, my niggas so but the bubbles on. I can't resist that. Yeah. My, my phone is not bubble for play. No, 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 no. I got my first was sitting here, I got my hands hot. And I feel like I had to button to turn the bubbles on. Every time I see a hot uh, cover bubbles, I gotta get in there. So I gotta run up to Trader Joe's. Luckily, it's down the street. So I um came here earlier, and I was trying to figure out if I had parked in the right parking spot or not. Remember, we was trying to figure that out. So I know that I did not park in the right parking spot because I got this note on my car. Is you parked in my spot, which is which inconvenience me. Appreciate it if you didn't do it again. Management. So that's how we know that I ain't parked in the right spot. But I'ma get it, I'm gonna get it right next time. Right now the Trader Joe's real quick, grab a few little waters and some drinks and shit. Take the elevator. We on our way out to eat again. We about to go to this restaurant that's located downtown LA. Y'all see how tall that building is? We gonna shoot some more video when uh, we get closer to the restaurant. Alright, we pulling up now. Where do you park for the, like, the restaurant? Uh, take this down to P4. Alright, so this is a uh, rooftop restaurant, so we gotta get an elevator and go up to the 70th floor. That should be fun. This is popping too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> this is popped again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just took the elevator to the 70th floor, and I'm supposed to take another yeah, one to the 73rd floor, I think. Took another elevator that says Fire 73. I don't know if I did this right. Look at this beautiful. I'm here. 
Elevator, but yeah, we feeling woozy, boy. You wanna go out here and just see what's out here before we go to the ballet? Since we're gonna be downtown LA a lot. Oh, okay, that's fancy as well. Ain't gonna press no button. Since I'm downtown LA, I'm just gonna do some minor exploring. I ain't going too far because I got to go get my car out the valet. But, you know, I'm just going to see what's, what's cracking down here in downtown LA. Damn, this is a fancy-ass Chick-fil-A, though. And it smells like good weed out here. Seeing some more escalators. Last time I did that, I ended up in an outdoor mall. y'all where the restaurant was eating it was in this building right here so it was yeah we was eating up there high in the sky oh lady they didn't they didn't give me no food thank you and that food is good we just waiting for the valet to pull up with the spaceship there you go so i just got back from spire 73 Overall, I say that's a good ass restaurant. It's kind of overpriced though, and they had this thing where you had to do like a um a sixty dollar limit per person, which ain't a whole bunch of money. But if you ain't really got no large appetite, they kind of force you to buy shit, so that's kind of fucked up. But overall, for the views, I would say it was worth it, man. I love that shit. So if I come back to LA, I probably I ain't gonna say I visit it again because I'd be liking to try new shit every time I travel, but. I can see myself probably making my way back there again one day. So now I'm back at the crib. Give me a little relaxation on. Let my food digest for a little while. I don't know if I'm gonna get into something else tonight. I'm looking at this pool, cause you know the pool right over there in front of me. Y'all can't see it right now, but I might smoke a little more weed and then jump in the pool or maybe just jump in the hot tub and just relax my muscles and shit. Cause, um, you know, it's the whole point of this whole vacation is relaxation and shit. So whenever you get a chance and you can vacation, I mean, live that shit up to the maximum of its extent. You know what I'm talking about? Just fucking take time to enjoy life and just fucking relax. So that's what I'm really trying to do for these rest of these days. I'm going to be out here. 
FYI though, this strain is called Fibonacci. This shit fire. It's an indica. It's not like if you ever smoking to get you like anxiety or something, this ain't gonna do that. Like a lot of times sativas, if you get like anxiety when you smoke, sativas can induce that. But this shit is a nice smooth little buzz, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really too too crazy. Y'all, so I'm back at the Airbnb. Um, it's the next day. Man, that food was so good. But, um, yeah, so we decided I'm going to go ahead and take the kids to Disneyland today since we out here in sunny California. But I want to try to see how much this shit costs. I'm going to show y'all how Disney gets you. Look at this. That's just for five people. I'm glad I looked this up on the website. I tell you that they require face coverings. Well, it says strongly recommended, so I'm going to give me some masks just for like the unenclosed uh, areas. Fuck it. Back out in Hollywood on some random shit. Out to do what? You know where I probably find some more food. I have stumbled upon yet another what appears to be outdoor mall. Well, it might be the last one. I'm coming in from a different street. I don't know. Really Sunglasses. LAPD. They look just like the niggas when you get five stars on Grand Theft Auto. Let me get me some shorts. This is my uh, foot locker. Let me get me some shorts because we're going to Disney later. I ain't wearing no jeans. I don't know why I packed so many jeans. Shorts for that. Hello, how you doing? Let me be honest. Let me be honest. Let me be honest. Let me This nigga shooting across the street to hit this nigga with the gun, dog. He didn't hit this nigga twice. Hollywood is wild, bro. I see stuff like that and I'm like, I love this city. Nah, I bet definitely gonna get real good. What is that thing doing to the heart? I fucking love LA. Is that what that means? I, I just, I just, uh, I should be on the game show. I fucking love LA. Me too. Out driving again. About to bust this left on sunset real quick. School of professional makeup. It's a Chick Fil A. I noticed all they Chick Fil A's out here be like um, different, like as far as the architecture. Mm. That man, he looks so high. That nigga, he is high as hell. We done made it to the In and Out Burger. That's a line. This shit better be good. I ain't never had no In and Out.
I probably can't even eat this shit. I'm gonna ask them, do they have any gluten free options? Just take the bread off. That's what they're gonna tell me. <laughs> yeah, nigga, if you take the bread off. Let's say this property is closed to the public. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's how Nico be when we got to find somebody. Right, Nico, CEO of Cockpit. Nigga, see that nigga doing that, uh, wine and design motion. They put the whole shit. It probably ain't. It's probably some old yeah, Your destination is on the right. We know we're here, nigga. We've been here for 12 minutes. <laughs> the motherfucking GP. Oh, look, a spot opened up just for you. Oh, saw that. But you just gonna have to go back in line. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's a lot of people in this motherfucker. After a very long wait, we was finally able to achieve grabbing the In-N-Out Burger. So hopefully that's good. All right, y'all. So when you're an entrepreneur, even when you on vacation, you still got to be ready for work. So the guy that I usually have that uh, cut the grass in my Airbnbs, he sent me this long ass message. You see how long that is? He didn't just send it to me though. It's a group text. He sent it to, I guess, all his clients. They basically said that he's going to start charging more as a base rate and they're going to start charging more for the stuff they used to do for free. All this and that, but and I understand, you know what I'm saying, as an entrepreneur, I definitely respect that, but at the same time, he been doing like a bad job lately. Like he be missing appointments and shit. So even though I'm on vacation, and I need my grass cut. Well, I needed my grass cut today. I let that guy go, cause I can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't, when you, when you get a bad vibe from, you know, somebody you working with, for me, I just think it's better to cut that shit off right away because we've been having problems for a while. Then he sent this whole long messages We've been having problems for a while, and he sent this whole long message talking about, you know, it's gonna be less for more. I'm not fucking with that. So, so what I did is I went online and found another guy that said he could cut my grass. Um, he took Cash App, and that's all you really need, you know what I'm saying, to do business, even if you're in another state, or somebody that can do the service you can trust, and Cash App. And he says he works for a lot of investors, so. Um, he basically took pictures after he was done and then I paid him through Cash App. So just remember when like you on vacation and something goes wrong, you just gotta kinda think outside the box. And uh, you know, we live in a beautiful time where like we got the internet, so we can make a lot of things happen from any location. So for my entrepreneurs out there, you know what I'm saying? If you go out of town, a lot of times I stop people from going out of town because you know, you'd be like if I'm not around, should have go wrong, but just got to learn how to fix shit remotely. That's it. It's part of the boss life. So I just went up to the rooftop and I just realized you can see the Hollywood sign from here. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. Right there. Just got to run up in Target real quick to get a uh, stroller because ain't no way I'm carrying my little baby around Disney World. Hey, you know I can find like baby stuff? Like strollers and stuff? All right, thank you. Target, I was gonna say, don't tell me it's the Target, I'm selling. Here we go. Just a little umbrella stroller. Just a little umbrella stroller, little $25 boy. You gonna grab me a little kombucha? On the way to Disney. I want to sit over here. Get loaded up. about to get them in this park. I, my older kids went to Disney World when they was younger because I had to get my younger kids 
to this new beast once. So we out here. Did nobody collect our tickets? Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Uh, you gotta be like really happy. Uh, Work here. Yeah. We got dark here. You go over there. That's the Avengers. You want to dominate? You want to see the Avengers? Yeah. What up, though, y'all? So I'm here in Disneyland. I'm the Avengers ride. The time moving kind of fast. We're about to get on here. I got the fan band with me. Oh, yeah. We're about to go in there and see some weather and shit. You ready to shoot some web? Yeah. You know how to do it? Yeah. Let me tell you, do your yep. web swing. Yep. Alright, so it's like 10 30. We just left Disneyland and I am in downtown Disney. As you can see, there's still a lot of people outside, but the kids had a blast and that's why we did it for them. Just ordered me some Bossa Nova Brazilian cuisine. I got Brazilian food. This shit really good. Potato fries. Right. And I was smoking a blunt out here on the patio. And then I went to go flick the fire of it out. And it flipped out of my hand and landed right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. On this person uh, rail right below me. So I'm going to try to go down there and grab that on my way to the pool. Because I'm about to go out here and uh, do my morning jacuzzi soaker. Let's see if my shit's still out here. Hold on, I'm about to go out here right now. Let's see if my shit's still out here. So don't come out here and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh yeah. Got to do it real smooth and casual. Like, like you know, and like, oh, yep, there it go. Bag secured. Hopefully ain't nobody out here in the jacuzzi so I can be by myself. If y'all just seen that camera jerk, I almost bust my ass. It's just slippery as hell. Yeah, we good. Let me just turn on these bubbles. So I stopped back by the dispensary again because I like that shit so much. Cali Kush Farm. Okay, yeah, it's called Z Mama. Mm. I'm about to bust this open so I can uh, do my vacation shit. And I got some good leftovers for breakfast and shit. Yeah. So y'all, so right now I'm on Hollywood Boulevard again. I'm on my way to Drip LA. They said like, shoes and shit and I've been hearing about them online so I'm gonna go check them out while I'm here. Luckily, um, it's right down the street from where I'm staying at. It's in LA, everything is all about location. So, I'm about to go see what's up with that. All right, so it was like a five minute walk. We done made it to Drip LA. About to go in here and see what's to it. So I just left out of drip. They had some uh, some cool looking shit in there. 
Um, I tried to get these little glow in the dark J's I've seen, but they didn't have in my size, so maybe next time. Man, the food trucks here are next level, man. What up, Spider? Tony Dunman. Oh, he don't be sounding like that. That oh, don't sound like his accent. That nigga said Spider Man. I can't roll my tongue, but <laughs> he don't sound. I, I don't believe you. You don't sound like your name is Peter Parker. What up, gang? He took it off first. Yeah, he took it off the dead. We needed some band-aids, by the way, so we was going to walk to Target, but it's hot as fuck, so we're probably going to try to find them here. Hey, excuse me, do y'all have band-aids? Band-aids? All right, thank you. Y'all, look at these refrigerators they got. And it tell you what's in there when you walk past it. I'm telling y'all, LA is different. When you walk past it. I don't understand how being glass is wasting anything, but whatever. Hold on, hold on. I'm opening it and see if it's accurate. Oh shit. Check out here on this trip. They got these uh, fruit things that be looking so good. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna try the um, fruit thing. Yeah. Next time, give me one of these street tacos. This should be fish. Oh, look at that meat. Chicken and beef. Chicken. Guacamole and bacon is so good. Uh, one chicken taco. Yeah, good. Let me try this taco out real quick. This shit better be good. I don't need that. Okay. Decent. Ended up back in the pool again. Since it's my last pool day here, I might as well utilize it. Got my son with me. So I just woke up after a long ass day at Disney and people inboxing me asking me to do overlays. So I'm on vacation right now doing overlays. I know I ain't supposed to be working, but it's the hustle in me. What up, y'all? So I just finished that little overlay. Um, about to go find breakfast because it's still like fairly early here. And I made enough money off my overlay to cover the cost of breakfast in LA. So and that's a bet. One thing I love though is the ability to make money remotely. So in addition to passive income, I always recommend. Hold on, y'all. Hey, what's going on? Hold on, y'all. Trash contact. In addition to passive income, I'm gonna always recommend finding ways to make money remotely. That's like the second best thing after passive income, being able to make money remotely. So even if you can't make money while you, you know, just sitting there in your sleeping shit, you can still make money when you out of town or, you know what I'm saying? It just lessens the restrictions on your life when you can make money from anywhere. So I always say learn something like graphic design or like, you know, video editing or something easy you can learn on YouTube. Did I think we doing uh, Mel's Diner for breakfast? This little spot in Hollywood is supposed to be good. I was looking on the menu; they actually got some healthy shit. When I first passed it, it seemed like some old school shit. They probably sold like coffee and pancakes. Ain't that what you thought they sold? Mm -hmm. Oh, but they got some healthy shit too. Yeah, so they got healthy shit. So. And I was ready to try something a little experimental, but you know what? I'm gonna stick to my little gluten-free shit if they let me, and we'll see how that go. And they got the good five-dollar mimosas and shit. All right, we found the front was actually on the other side of the street. So All right, so I just ordered this cayenne shot, which is lemon juice, cayenne pepper, ginger, and um, apple cider vinegar. 
it's supposed to be good for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this bitch and see if it's gonna uh, make me choke or not. All right, I'm about to try this. There. It's terrible. I mean, it's burning my stomach a little bit. You know, that shit all good for you, but damn. That shit like drinking hot sauce. Alright y'all, this is what I got from Mel's Diner. It's the avocado toast with egg. I think that fit within my budget. And they had the gluten-free toast. That's why I love Hollywood. They be they be looking out for the people that self-conscious. They always got like a gluten-free or like a dairy-free or a vegan option. I'm coming back from Mel's now. All I got was the um, avocado toast, really. So it wasn't really nothing too special, but I wouldn't say it was like overly good in that. It was all right. Just typical avocado toast. And I got this wellness shot, which I showed y'all was nasty as fuck. But uh -huh. hopefully it make, you know, hopefully it got some positive health benefits. But that shit was intense. It's kind of making my stomach burn a little bit. All right, y'all. So I done had this tested for a couple of days now. And guess what? It's almost out of charge. So. I'm about to figure out where a supercharged station is and try to charge the shit up for the first time. So, yeah, see, when you look on this, I only got what, 43 miles left? All right, so I gotta figure out where a supercharging station is. So, I'm gonna check it out on here if I can even use this. The GPS on this thing. I just went one place for a charger. It was in a Trader Joe's parking lot. And they tried to make me pay for parking and it wasn't a supercharger. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and put a supercharger on the on the map and go ahead and do that. So I just went another place and it was some place that my phone recommended when I got there. It was um, nothing there. So my face just took me, my phone just took me to a fake place. So I just pulled up to this other place and it looks like they got, I think these is the superchargers over here, but I think people use them all. So hopefully I can get over here. So I just talked to another guy at the charging station cause I ain't never did this shit before. He gave me a lot of game on what I'm gonna need to do to get my phone charged. I mean, I'm talking about my phone, get my Tesla charged back up. So basically, he got like 10 more minutes. So that's something I didn't know about Tesla's like, if you ain't got no dedicated charger at your house, you gotta go find these charging stations. And when you get there, somebody might already be using it. You might gotta wait. So that's super inconvenient. But he said he only got like 10 minutes left, but I'm not a patient person, so we'll see. So I got there. Uh, Remember I told you I was waiting to be able to use the charger. So I sat there and waited for like 10 minutes. And I started doing some more investigation and I called the company on the uh, side of the charger to find out that you need a special adapter to use that shit. So now what I gotta do is I gotta go. Luckily the people was nice enough to refer me to where I really need to be. But um, the lady from Electrify America, that was the name of the company by the way, she, um, looked up where I could find a Tesla supercharger where I don't need no damn uh, special adapter and I should be able to plug right up to it. So I'm hoping it don't be no crazy line there too because it's going to be the third place I done went to, I think, to um, try to get this thing to charge up. So you see this console right here? I, um, it opens like this, right? So I have my um, little card up there that, um, used to get into the parking garage or the luxury condo I'm staying at and I uh, came to a stop and that bitch slid up under there. I'm so mad. So I got to figure out how to get my car from in this home. I don't even know why they built that like that, but I don't have nothing but positive things to no, say about this car. To the on the right. But uh, that's a design flaw. I'm almost there too. I feel like I'm cutting it ridiculously because I only got 10 miles left until this bitch cut off. Y'all, I think I'm on the right path. They didn't really give a lot of information, but I do see this supercharger on the top floor. Bruh, this is the line. So while I'm sitting here waiting for the charger, I read up online that you can pop this little thing off because my key card slid up under there. So I'm about to try to pop this off and see if I can grab my key card from behind the console. Yeah, so I was finally able to get this thing out of here. Though. It was all the way in there. And I was able to reach my hand on the back side of that and um, I push it back on top of this and slide it back out. But uh, I'm so fucking happy. Y'all, so I finally got the um, thing put back on. I'm 
I'm still, I'm almost next in line. It's, I've been here about like 15 minutes uh, trying to get my Tesla charged or whatever, but the fact that I had to break this, I had to Google, then break this down on the internet or learn how to break it down, I should say, on the internet and then repair it is too fucking much for somebody to be doing on vacation, but like I always tell y'all, you gotta do what the fuck you gotta do. All right, attempt number two. Oh shit, this shit closed down. Okay, so it turns out I think I gotta press this unlock charge port. Damn. Let me try it now. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't like it. It's supposed to turn green when it's uh, done. When it's done? Well, I mean when it's charging. Oh, when so, it's charging? It should show up. Oh, okay. I gotta click it on here where it says start charging. Yeah, start charging. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Click that. Did it turn green? Well, it's about to. Uh, it's flashing. Yeah, so it's charging now. So this shit is charging now. It's at the hour and 25 minutes. So since we had to wait for the Tesla to recharge, I just started walking around. That's in my nature. When I get bored, I just be exploring this shit. So I'm in Burbank right now. I'm glad I got out the car. Bur Burbank is lit. I ain't gonna lie. Burbank is definitely lit. Y'all, so just an update. I ended up leaving i got 140 um miles until until empty so that's like a little bit under a half a tank i was trying to get at least a half a tank in here or a half a charge or however you say it but it didn't um i wasn't about to be out here for another hour i just wasn't about to do it so hopefully this lasts me for the rest of my trip or i can you know maybe use one of these slower chargers overnight so we had to figure that shit out, but I was over it for today. We'll figure it out tomorrow. What up, y'all? So you know I'm back out in Queen. Excuse me. Today I'm in uh, Burbank, and I'm at the Panini Kebab Grill in uh, Burbank Mall. So one thing I like about their food is that they don't use no antibiotics, shit like that. Grass uh, fed, everything. So I'm about to try this out and see how this shit tastes. All right, y'all, so I just got my plate. I got the chicken kebab. This shit is huge. With the strawberry date salad. I'm gonna fuck this up. Yo, you know I be eating too much. I just left that last restaurant. I'm in another restaurant. What's the name of this restaurant? Silver Lake Ramen. So, yeah, looks like it's gonna be good. But it's for later on. We can get like a tequila soon. Like later on tonight. Really, my daughter is giving the price. Taste test. Yeah. 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 Ye
don't really go all to LA. That shit crazy. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm sitting here on my last night on vacation, sick. Cause I really wanna move to LA, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Usually when I go on vacation, I be ready to get home. You know, you go somewhere and you be on vacation for four or five days, you be ready to go home. But when I come out to LA, come out to LA, I had to get quiet because it's this helicopter circling around. Some LA shit. But despite that, I love this city. So I'm sick, I gotta go home tomorrow. And I got an early flight. I'm gonna show y'all this helicopter that's circling around too, by the way. That's one of the LAPD ghetto bird helicopters too. They're looking for somebody. But despite all that, I still love this fucking city. What up, y'all? So I'm here on my last day on vacation. I'm actually pretty sad about it. Uh, I love it here. For now. What time is it? Like 6.30 in the morning. My flight leaves at around 11, so I've got like two hours to fuck around, but I'm about to just take my walk. I'm probably gonna run up here and uh, go into Starbucks real quick. And then come back and let me see the jacuzzi for like about an hour before I go. If I got time, I still kinda gotta clean up. I got most of my stuff packed up last night because I don't like last minute packing, so. It's been fun. But I wanna move here for sure. I had a McDonald's here and it's just a loose dog. And I don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna record them, but. Fuck with that. Oh, okay, that might be his dog. But I feel like that's not the McDonald's um, way of doing things. Got my little coffee for the morning. We out. So I'm down here at the pool, as y'all can see. I'm about to go ahead. Jump in the hot tub one more time before I gotta go up to the airport and go deal with that whole TSA ordeal. So, try to give me a little bit of relaxation there before I gotta go stress back out again and get back to real life. Get back to real life. All right, y'all, we are packing it up. Two bags, kids. I'm about to load this car up to conclude this trip. It was a very fun time, but leaving is always way harder than getting here. So we're gonna pack all this stuff up in the Tesla. We're gonna head to the airport. I feel like I'm running late. Hopefully we don't miss our flight. But it was worth it. It was a fun trip. Loading up and shit. Yeah, we officially like checked out of the Airbnb, about to hop in the, um, the uh, Tesla. Lucky for me, I decided to uh, do the airport drop off. So I just got to take it to the airport parking and take a picture of where it's at. And I'm all set with it. This is just what for this Y'all can see I'm over here sweating like a motherfucker. We just ran all the way through TSA. They let the flight depart 15 minutes early, so we missed our flight. So now I gotta be in LA for an extra nine hours. They put me on a uh, free flight home, but it's still inconvenient as fuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do for nine hours. Yo, so it's been a few hours. I told y'all I missed my flight, so I'm still stuck in this airport. Um, it's 1 o'clock p.m. now, and my flight was delayed until 9.30 p.m. So I gotta 
chilling in the airport for eight and a half hours more. So I was already here for like two hours. It was like 10 and a half hours total. And that is not the ideal way to um, end the trip. Y'all, so I'm still in this airport. I think I got like six more hours to go or something. I'm trying to find something to eat in the LAX. This Admirals Club is. I'm about to go find out because I'm bored. I promise y'all, people are not supposed to be in no airport this fucking long. This shit's starting to get real, real, real ridiculous. Bro, where the fuck did I just get to? I could like overlook the whole airport. Yo, so they got a whole mall in this airport. That's the crazy shit. Wow, that shit crazy, man. So this LAX, y'all. I gotta tell y'all, I would have never found all these luxurious stores or the mall inside the airport if I wasn't stuck here for an additional 12 hours. So shout out to Spirit for making me uh, miss my flight for 12 hours. I got some real shit. Thanks, Spirit. I was in an uh, airman store and I got a call from my daughter. She said that they actually rescheduled the flight for the original time. So it went from being back from like 10 back to like 9.35. So we're about to head back over to our terminal now. And hopefully I can end up getting on this plane and getting the fuck out of LA. I say that like I want to leave and I really don't. But hopefully I can get on the plane because I'm just tired of being here. And I'm ready to, um, I don't know. I'm ready to go to sleep. So I just want to get to the crib and get in the bed. Y'all, I'm in my room right now. I made it back to the crib finally after this long, 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 long ass departure from LA. We are back. I had a beautiful vacation, had fun, had a good time with the family. And when you're an entrepreneur and you work hard, you got to make sure that you take time and set it aside and do shit like vacation, spend time with your loved ones, your family. Great time all together. Um, if y'all like this vlog and y'all want to see more content like this from me, Please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. And I'll see y'all on the next video.